Hi, welcome back to this WISE and FMOD comparison video series. In this video, we're going to be creating a very basic music system within WISE, and we're going to have a chat about its functionality. So let's jump straight in, and you can see I've gone to the interactive music layout. You can get to that just by pressing F10, or you can go to layouts. To start off, let's make a child under the default work unit in the interactive music hierarchy. And let's create a music switch container. And we will call this scene one. OK, under this switch container, let's create another new child. And this time, we're going to create a music playlist container. And we'll call this low action. If you've already watched the FMOD video, you, you'll be able to tell we're trying to match what we did in that. So under low action, let's create a music segment. I'm going to call this low action. Now let's repeat the process for the other music events that we want to create. So we'll call this one tension. And we'll add another music segment underneath. And we'll call that tension as well. We'll also have one called chimes. If you remember from FMOD, that was the one when we get closer to the C. And we only had the chimes coming in. We'll also create another one. And this one will be medium action. This one had the action drums inside. There we go, medium action. And a new child. OK, great. So that's our four levels that we wanted to create. Let's drag some audio into these. We'll start off by dragging in the action drums into the medium action. And you can see it when you open the drop down. There it is. Let's drag in. Let's drag in the Atmos bed into the low action. And you can see that there with the waveform down the bottom right. We'll also add the tension to tension. So these are all stems. And we'll add chimes to chimes. We also have an atmosphere alt, which we'll drag into low action as they, they layer up quite nicely next to each other for the full effect. And you'll see when you have more than one piece of audio in the same instance that they appear above each other in the timeline down below, bottom right. Let's play those and you can hear it. Let's play this. Oops, there we go. So that's all our different sounds. Now, if we wanted the Atmos bed to appear in the same music segment as Tension, we can either drag in a new instance, which wouldn't be that efficient, or we can just copy and paste the existing one. And you'll see that both of those appear in there. Let's also put it in medium action so it'll apply to the action, underneath the action drums as well when we, when we switch. So now we need to apply each of these separate music playlists to individual states so we can switch between them and use some sort of logic. Go to Game Syncs, and under States, let's create a new state group. And we'll call this Music Scene 1. Under here, we're going to create a new state, and we'll call this Low Action. We'll also create one called Medium Action. There we are. We'll have one called Chimes. And you guessed it, tension. OK, so now we have our, our states underneath our state group. OK, let's go back to our audio. And we have to do something else quickly before we can apply them to those states. So go to your music playlist container and drag in your music segment. Now it is in that container. And you can set the loop to infinite. And we'll do the same for each of these. Just to make sure that those music segments play within the containers, and they loop. If you go up a level to the actual switch container, and you notice the top right where the general settings are, you can change the tempo. And we'll change it to 126, which is the actual tempo. And you can also adjust the bars and when it should change, but we won't be using that. For now, let's go and associate this state group with this switch container. Scroll down to this section and add the state group. Now you'll see each of the ones that we set up. Let's just drag in each music container to these states, and you'll see it appears at the bottom. Let's do the same for all of them. Drag them in one by one. Slow action. 
Let's take medium action, put it into medium action, and we'll put tension into tension. There we go, that's all of our states associated with our music. Right, let's go up a level to our main switch container and go to transitions. And this is where we can set the transition timings between each state. We do the fade ins and fade outs. Just leave the source and destination as any and open up the fade out. And this is the timings or the curve or the transition period for the fade out out of a stem. And we'll also do the fade in to the other stem. And we'll match it. So we get a constant volume. You can adjust the curve down the bottom right, but we'll just leave it straight for now, just because it's faster. And one last thing, if you just check the exit source, we'll just change it to immediate because each of the layers actually are perfectly timed with each other. So it's not a problem to change immediately. And then go down to the sync to, and we'll just go same time as playing segment. There we go. The next thing you need to do is go into each of these audio sections and just make sure that they loop. So if we click chimes here, and you can see that between the red and the green markers is the looping section. And it's a seamless loop. But you can actually change this here. If you drag out the start point to a little bit further in, you can add a intro section. So let's just take, for instance, let's just drag something in and just show how it might work. So you could have a section in the intro and it would just play the intro. And then it will, as soon as that's finished, it will switch over into the loop section. So you could add a sting to this intro bit. Um, as soon as we play the right bit, and you notice it plays from the beginning. Um, we could just have this, let's say this was the intro of this particular piece of audio, and the second section was the loop. You could fade it in there, and then it would loop the actual loop part. So that's pretty decent. You can also do fade outs, and you can adjust the entire volume. And you can also adjust the size using the little blue squares down the bottom. So let's just pretend that this was a sting, and you could, or, or any sort of intro. That would play out, and then straight, straight into the chimes. So the same could be said for the end. You can initiate an outro, which will it will play the outro when it, as soon as this is stopped. Uh, and wouldn't do it in the loop. So that's pretty cool. So let's just undo, undo that, because we're not going to do that at this point, because they're all seamless and vertically layered. So let's go back in and just make sure that the loop sections are set up for each of these pieces of audio. There we go, that's that one. If you press Control and Alt and mouse wheel, it will zoom in and out. Let's just adjust that. It should snap to the bars and beats. Same deal with this one. You can see how easy it would be to build individual sections here and transition between each one using different, different intros and outros. Very effective. So let's test this out. Let's play it and change the states and see how it sounds. So tension is playing. Now let's switch to char. Now let's switch to low action. Why not? And the tension has stopped. Let's switch to medium action, which has the drums. Switch back to tension. Very smooth. And chimes. Nice. And let's just go down to nothing. So that's about it for this video. That's all we've got time to do. That's a very basic music system within WISE, but it's kind of laid out some of the functionality for you. Sky's the limit with this one. It's very detailed. You can really dig deep in it. For the next project I do with WISE, I'm going to be investing a lot of time into making a bespoke music system for this piece of software, and we can really push it to its limits and see what it can do. I've got three videos lined up that you can watch after this. You can either watch the FMOD video comparison to see how that piece of software works as a music system, or you can go over to the evaluation video, which evaluates this entire FMOD and WISE comparison video series, and I'll discuss which one I prefer and where I see the future going for each piece of software. The third video is a bit of a curveball, 
and it's going to be a very quick video on Elias. I just couldn't leave this one alone. It's a very impressive piece of software. As a composer, I find it very compelling. It's very creative. So I'll quickly just talk about that in the other video. Thanks.